Welcome to Infigan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting challenge from system of equations. Here we are having two equations. First one is x square plus xy plus y square is equal to 84. And second equation is x plus a square root xy plus y equal to 14. I will demonstrate two different methods to solve this problem. So I will begin by writing one and two equation number. And this method is algebraic manipulation method, method number one. I will consider our equation one as x square plus 2xy plus y square minus xy. Manipulation is I added xy and subtracted xy in the equation number one. Right hand side is 84. So from first three term, this is our equation one. So from first three term, I will write x plus y whole square. And second term, I will consider root xy whole square. And right hand side is 84. Now you can see it is one formula, algebraic formula, difference of two squares. Formula is a square minus b square. It is equal to a plus b in one parenthesis in second one, a minus b. So I will consider here the difference of a square formula. Then I will write here x plus y plus root xy in one bracket. In second bracket, I will write x plus y minus a square root xy equal to 84. Now I will put equation number two in first parenthesis because it is identical. So I will put over there 14. x plus y plus a square root xy is 14. So let us put over there. So I will write here 14 times x plus y plus, no it is minus a square root xy equal to 84. Now I can cancel or divide both sides with 14. I will write here 6. So our new system of equation will become x plus y minus root xy equal to 6. So I will consider this is our equation number 3, I would say. So from equation 2 and 3, we will solve new system of equation where x plus y plus root xy is 14. And second equation is equation number 3, x plus y minus root xy is 6. So I will add and subtract to collect our x and y. So let me write here x plus y plus a square root xy equal to 14, x plus y minus a square root xy equal to 6. Now, once I will add both, then I will collect 2 times x plus y equal to 20 or x plus y equal to 10. Now, come to subtraction. So, once I will subtract, then x and y, x plus y both term will be cancelled out and we will get 2 square root xy equal to 8. From here, I can write root xy equal to 4. Or if you will take whole square both sides, then you will write xy is equal to 16. So I will write here xy equal to 16. Now this set of equation is comfortable for us to find out our x and y value. So I will do, I will calculate y from here y will be equal to 16 over x and I will put in equation x plus y equal to 10. So let me do it. x plus 16 over x equal to 10. Multiply this equation with x. So x square minus 10x plus 16 equal to 0. Take all the term to LHS. Now I will apply formula minus b. So 10 plus minus under the root b square, so 100, minus 4ac, so 64, 4 times 16 is 64, over 2a, so 2. 10 plus minus 
100 minus 64 is 36. The square root 36 is 6. I will write 10 plus minus 6 over 2. So 16 over 2 is 8 and 4 over 2 is 2. Now use this one xy product or use this one x plus y to find out y. So what I will do now, I will consider x 8. If x is 8, then from x plus y equal to 10, this is 8. So y will become 2. So once x is 8, y is 2. And if x is equal to 2, then 2 plus y equal to 10, y will be 8. So here we are having x and y solutions. 2 comma, what you will write? 2 comma 8 and 8 comma 2. When x is 8, this one, y will be 2. When x is 2, this one, y will be 8. So this is our method number 1. Now come to method number 2. Method number 2 is, I will consider our second equation and I will take away root xy from both sides. So I will write x plus y equal to 14 minus root xy. Now consider whole squaring both sides. So once I will take whole square both sides, I will write a square plus b square plus 2ab. Right hand side, 14 square is 196 plus square root xy whole square is xy minus 2ab. So minus 28 root xy. Okay. Now take away xy from both sides or take this term to the left. So I will write x square plus y square plus xy equal to 196 minus 28 root xy. Now you can see this is our equation number 1. Left hand side is written. That is equation number 1. So in that place I will write 84. So let me write here. 84 is equal to 196 minus 28 root xy. Take negative root 28 root xy this term to the left hand side. So I will write 28 root xy and this value will be equal to 196 minus 84. So I will get 112. Divide both sides with 28. So root xy will become 4. 112 divided by 28 that would be uh, 4. So now I will write xy is equal to taking whole square both sides 16 or this equation. What I will do now? I will put this value in equation number 1 or rather is to put this value in equation number 2. So equation number 2. Let me write here equation number 2 and I will put this root xy is equal to 4. So what is equation number 2? Let me write here equation 2 is x plus y plus root xy equal to 14. Let us put over there x plus y. This value is 4. So let me write, let me write one time. 14. So x plus y equal to 10. Same set of equations you are having. From here I will consider y is equal to 16 over x and I will put over there. So what it will give us actually x plus y equal to 10 x plus y equal to 10 and y is equal to 16 over x. Let us put over there. So x plus 16 over x equal to 10 same equation. Multiply both sides with x. So x square minus 10x plus 16 equal to 0. Now I will apply formula x is equal to minus b plus minus under the root same equation you will get b square minus 4ac over 2a. So 10 plus minus 6 square root 36 is 6. This way I will collect 16 over 2 so 8 4 over 2 so 2. 
x plus y is 10 addition of both numbers should be 10 so here i will write 2 here i need to write 8 i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video take care